We solve this equation by cross multiplying. We have 5 times the denominator 2 minus 3x equals negative 7 times 1, which is negative 7. We're allowed to use distribution. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times negative 3x is negative 15x. And so we want to make the coefficient of x positive. So let's throw this negative 15x to the right. So we have positive 15x. And we're going to throw this negative 7 term to the left, which makes it positive 7. The sign changes when you throw it over the equal sign. We have 15x equals 10 plus 7, which is 17. Thus, x equals 17 over 15. Let's use distribution for this equation. We have 2 minus x equals 3x. We have 3 times 1 is positive 3. Let's gather our x's towards the right. We have 3x plus x. And this positive 3, when we move to the left, becomes minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And 3x plus x is 4x. We divide both sides by 4. And we have our answer, x equals negative 1 fourth. When we see a denominator in an equation, it's a good idea to multiply both sides by that denominator, 2. When we multiply both sides by 2, we have a doubling of the terms. 2x becomes 4x, and the second term becomes just x, because when we multiply by 2, the 2's cancel. The positive 1 becomes 2, and the 5 becomes a 10. Now this equation is a lot easier to work with. What is 4x plus x? We have 5x. And we have 10 minus 2 is 8. We divide both sides by 5, and we have the answer 8 over 5. Again, we have an equation with a denominator. This time we have 3. So let's multiply both sides by 3. We have 3 plus 6x equals 9. And when we multiply this part by 3, we just get negative 2. Because the 3's cancel out. We copy down the brackets. We have x plus 6. This part is not affected by multiplying by 3. So for example, if we have the number 4, is equal to 2 times 2. If you multiply both sides by 2, we get 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. Notice how we only multiply it once, and we don't actually multiply each part by 2, which would make the right side too big. So this statement holds true. So in the same way, when we multiply by 3, this 3 cancels out, we don't end up distributing a 3 inside as well. That would be incorrect. Now let's use distribution. Let's feed the dog and feed the cat. So this part here becomes minus 2x minus 12. And we copy down this 9 here. And let's copy down the rest. We have 3 plus 6x. We now gather like terms. Let's throw this negative 2x to the left of the equal sign. We have 6x plus 2x is 8x. And we have 9 minus 12 is negative 3. And we're going to throw this 3 over to the right. So we have another negative 3. We have 8x equals negative 6. Thus, dividing both sides by 8, we have x equals negative 6 over 8. And it's always a good idea to simplify. Dividing top and bottom by 2, we have negative 3 fourths, which is our final answer.